Welcome to another episode of Billionaires Book Club where we read, review, discuss books by billionaires. Now today we're going to be talking about this man named Felix Dennis. He created Maxim, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. I'm sure everyone's heard the phrase Maxim model. If not, I hear it occasionally every now and then, you know, Maxim model. It's it's like a Victoria's Secret model, but for the Maxim magazine. Anyhow, the point is, this is an interesting book. Um, I've heard about it and I've seen it recommended numerous times. I finally get to check this thing out and I like it, you know. Um, he immediately addresses from the start that this is not some uh, get-rich-quick scheme book. This is not something that's ridiculous. This is what my experiences tell me and this is what I am doing to help you. And he very clearly outlines that this is not to make money through the book. And he explains how this book will probably not make a lot of money. And he already has a lot. And let me just read for you a little bit of the, um, the summary on, the, uh, on this, what do you call this thing, a book sleeve? Just to get you a feel for this. Because he not only talks about money and the ways of uh, attaining it and what you need, but he also talks about what I think is more important than money, which is happiness. Are you doing it for the right reasons? Um, is it worth the potential sacrifices you may have to give up that you're probably going to have to give up? Whether it's family, lack of personal life, all these problems that he has to deal with. And he, apparently he says that every person he's met who's self-made has had these problems in addition to other problems like your kids growing up spoiled and not trying and lacking very core traits that are very useful in a person like ambition, drive, uh, understanding the power of hard work, that sort of stuff. So, you know, I do think it's a well-rounded book and it does cover certain areas that I don't think other books cover as well. I'm not going to name names, but you know what I'm talking about. Those books that only talk about money. And so far, you know, I haven't finished this book, um, but I like it because there are books that are just more scammy or just more focused on money, which is far from the only thing. Anyhow, let's, let me read this quote. Are you penniless, young, and inexperienced? Excellent. You stand by far the best chance of becoming as rich as you please. You have an advantage that neither education nor upbringing nor even money can buy. You have almost nothing to lose. And therefore, you have nothing to lose. Nearly all great fortunes acquired by entrepreneurs arose because they had nothing to lose. Nobody had bothered to tell them that such and such a thing could not be done or would be likely to fail. Or if they had been told, then they weren't listening. They were too busy proving those around them wrong. I do think there's certain truths to that uh, based off my readings in other books and experiences and advice from other successful people, which if you knew how much I've consumed on that, you'd probably throw up. But the point is, um, it's true, you know, a certain uh, belief in yourself and uh, ability to go through failure and get back up especially when the failures are not as catastrophic as as everyone else believes that they would be if you did fail it's very important and that touches on one of the other big mindsets that he has in this book which is that he is he doesn't consider himself perfect or anything above average in terms of his intelligence or you know without flaws apparently he's made a lot of business mistakes and so forth and he's showing you that you don't have to be super smart either you don't have to be rich either you don't have to be anything but young and able he says like the only prerequisite you need really is that you're uh, you're healthy and your mind works fairly well and you you're decently smart enough to understand how things work and you 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 have common sense and so it's a very inspiring book and it gives a lot of hope. You know, there's this other uh, billionaire, His, I think it was Jack Bogle. He, 
he is the man behind Vanguard, and he was one of the first people to start an index fund, which is basically a fund that mirrors the, uh, the stock market index of the biggest 500 companies or 1,000 companies, whatever have you. The point is, um, I don't know if he's a billionaire. He's, he's worth a lot, though. Uh, not that that matters. Money's not the only thing. Um, so Jack Bogle, um, he said this one thing that, uh, and it may have not been him, but I have a feeling it's him. I'm pretty sure it's him. If it's not, it, it was someone like him. He told his son and his children that uh, it's a shame that you don't have the advantages I had growing up. He grew up very poor and penniless and homeless. And his son and his children who were obviously they were born into wealth they replied don't you mean disadvantages and he was like no advantages and that implies a lot because what he's saying here is that there are a lot of advantages that we take for granted or that we overlook or we you know most people they complain about this oh i'm poor da 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 da, da. but you can see this like shift in psychology and mindset he, as well as Phoenix, uh, Felix, he views these things as advantages, as basically uh, opportunities and environments that will teach you a lot, give you the drive and hunger and whatever else necessary to succeed. So, last thing I want to say is that this book has a lot of things that are business focused. And so, I would say it's a must read for anyone interested in business and for the most part again I wouldn't put it at a hundred percent but for the most part most people who achieve wealth do it either partially or fully due to some level of business so again there are exceptions so don't give up hope if you're not a business person for instance Oprah Winfrey talk show host George Lucas film actor film director not actor but even for these people there's a certain level of business that they have that accumulated their wealth even if they're not business savvy they partner with someone or they work with people to incorporate some level of business to what they're doing and it's also a very common thread that they all have some level of ownership in that business so, for instance, George Lucas, Star Wars merchandise, Indiana Jones merchandise, Oprah Winfrey, uh, TV network. And so, you, you get the point. And so, this book, I would recommend it to anyone who's starting a business or is part of a business or owns a business, whatever have you. He has a bunch of things here for all levels of that, from the five most common startup errors to cardinal rules, the art of negotiating, delegation, the power of focus, something that uh, Warren Buffett and Bill Gates emphasizes a lot, and so on. So again, it's very important stuff in here, and I would say it's very interesting. So again, it's, fairly, it's a fairly thick book, but uh, I think it's well worth it, and he... As a bit of humor, he's definitely a poet. He's definitely someone who loves to speak. So there's a lot of poetry in this book. And personally, I like it because it gives you like some good quotes and really emphasizes certain points. I mean, he has all these short poems in here to illustrate certain things. For example, the fear of failure. He says, uh, there's this quote at the start of the chapter that says, Go tell the Spartans. Thou who passeth by, that here, obedient to their laws, we lie. Again, it's very practical. It talks, again, about, you know, the use of money. And he says, he brings a great point about how, you know, although money can't buy happiness, it can really alleviate a lot of things and make life a lot easier. And then he has a little bit of humor and a little bit of practicality in here, too. And he talks about yachts planes and so forth and he says something along the lines of if it floats flies or fornicates always rent it it's cheaper in the long run which is really really true 
I've heard a lot of stories about how if you buy a plane, it's like that's where the real money gets spent. 10 to 20 to 30 million dollars to, to build it because they have to test it and then burn it to see how fast it burns and then rebuild it and then put it together and then there's like maintenance fees and oil and all sorts of stuff so that's true and again i mean you don't need a jet plane to be happy so again you know take this book with a grain of salt though because he pretty much says that um every self-made person he's met had to sacrifice something in terms of family and so forth and that pain may not be worth it and he says that he's seen a lot of people who are so guilty that they uh they spend so much time with their business that they they ended up buying expensive things to compensate and i've seen that to be true from elon musk to other individuals i know who aren't famous um is that completely true i don't think i definitely think i have hope that there are rich individuals out there who have taken the time to be more well-rounded and have healthy aspects of their other life but again He's saying that almost every self-made person he's met, they've had a sacrifice. So he's asking you if that's worth it. Again, interesting book, interesting book. In terms of him actually being a billionaire, again, sources, again, the internet, who knows if we can trust it. There's certain articles online that claim that he's a net worth well over a billion dollars. Other sources like celebrity net worth, peg him at 300 million who knows the point is he has a lot of wealth he wrote this book to help you guys out and it's quite a shame that no one bothers to read i mean there's so many startup entrepreneurs and people who start businesses and they've never bothered to like listen or read from people who have done it from people who have accumulated massive amounts of money and they're all constantly complaining about oh i can't find a mentor or oh i don't have the time or man why isn't things working and there are people out there like this with these twenty dollar books out there i got this at the library for free and it's such a shame and of course some of them do succeed and it's not necessary for you to read all these books to succeed as an entrepreneur as has been shown numerous times but at the same time there's a lot of people making a lot of trivial stupid naive mistakes who don't bother to read any books so that's all I gotta say um, check it out I will leave a link in the description to this book if you want to buy it on amazon.com and yeah that's all I gotta say in the future I will be reviewing his other book which in certain ways is better in terms of just generally how to create wealth but being more specific it's called the narrow road and it's by the same man and this was written after this book and this one I think in certain ways is better if you're not business focused or you haven't decided business is where you want to go um, and you can make a lot of money without going into business so this book it details 88 of the things you need interesting book that's all I gotta say as always like and subscribe thanks for watching